guys, welcome back to the channel. Lexus has just reclaimed its a number one spot in terms of customer service satisfaction. And you guys probably see them in a different place. This is going to be my new studio. Definitely have some soundproofing to do. It sounds like an echo chamber in here. But this is gonna be my new setup. Obviously it's not done, but just want to give you a quick little tour. Computer parts everywhere uh, and camera parts everywhere, but a quick little setup for you guys in the video today. Over at JD Power, coronavirus fallout, vehicle service, customer satisfaction improves, but dealers should prepare for part shortages and dissatisfied owners. So the big lead in to this article, at least for them, is like, oh my gosh, coronavirus, right? Everyone's affected by it in the world at this point. But their biggest fear is that parts availability is going to play the biggest role in the upcoming year for overall customer service satisfaction. And this graph that they came up with kind of says it all. So potential coronavirus effect, part shortages have the potential to severely affect the service experience, particularly for luxury brands. So if you look at the top or over to the left here, overall CSI satisfaction scores, luxury is really, really high when, uh, well, at least right now, that's the average segment score for luxury vehicles. However, when parts are not available, that plummets down to 709 from 864. Now, if you go to the right, definitely will return for paid service. The segment average is 63, but when those parts are not available, it plummets to 30%. So they know based off of these numbers and the upcoming shortages that we're gonna have in the entire automotive industry, that these numbers are probably actually they're almost guaranteed to go down. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if Lexus pulls something out of their hat and they're like, do whatever you can, put them in a loan. I, I would not expect anything but the best from Lexus, but they are a victim of this thing as well. Parts manufacturers are definitely hit and they're slowly coming online from China and other parts of the world, but it's still definitely going to have a huge effect in the coming year. They have found out that time is the most important thing, how quickly their vehicles are finished in service and how quickly they can get their vehicle back. They're saying there are higher expectations for this new Gen Y group of customers, which are ages 25 to 42. They have higher expectations than the older people. There are fewer miles and longer service intervals, largely because customers are driving less than they used to. So dealers need to capture a greater percentage of service visits. Highest ranked brands, Lexus ranks highest in satisfaction with dealer service among luxury brands with a score of 889. Cadillac and Porsche tie for second with a score of 882. And then Infinity ranks fourth and Lincoln ranks fifth. Of course, you see the lesser brands, I should say the common brands down below. Of course, Toyota, obviously I talk about Toyota largely on the channel. They did really, really well for a mainstream brand. The 2020 U.S. Customer Service Index study is based on responses from over 71,000 verified registered owners and leases of 2017 to 19 model year vehicles. JD Power goes to great lengths to ensure that survey respondents are true owners of the brand they are representing. The study was fielded from August through December 2019. Okay, and then looking at the overall 2020 U.S. Customer Service Index study, Lexus here at the top, Cadillac, Porsche, Infiniti, and Lincoln, like we just talked about. They didn't mention Mercedes-Benz in that main article, but they're up there as well. And the segment average at 864. Audi, Acura, BMW, Volvo, Genesis. You know, a lot of people are saying, you know, Genesis should be, they're the next Lexus. No, they are not the next Lexus, not even close to it. Look at this customer satisfaction index. There's no way Lexus would ever be that far down in a customer service satisfaction test like this. Um, no surprise, Land Rover, Alfa Romero, Jaguar, all down there at the bottom. You could say Volvo's down there as well. So um, no surprise, of course, I'm gonna beat the drum of Lexus. That's what this channel's really largely about as well as, of course, Toyotas too. But I love all cars. I just like some more than others, right? Okay, and then JD Power mass market brands, like we said, Buick's right up there at the top. They're kind of like a pseudo luxury brand, so. I would almost say they're all kind of like an Acura. I don't know, what do you guys think? Is Buick on the same lines of Acura when it comes to luxury brands? Let me know what you think, but they are definitely leading the pack when it comes to mass market brands here. 
GMC also up there pretty high behind Chevy. Mitsubishi, Toyota, Nissan. Uh, you got some big hitters from the Japanese brands there. Subaru down to 835, which is above the segment average. Mazda is a little bit lower than I was expecting. Um, edging out Hyundai, Volkswagen, Honda, Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Janet. <laughs> The Fiat, the Fiat, Jeep, Ram, Dodge, Chrysler, they're all the same family if you didn't know. Ford, surprising to be that far down as well. Really GM's products to be that high is quite surprising and you had Cadillac up there on the luxury end. So that's probably the biggest surprise for me. What do you guys think? What was your biggest surprise here? Was it Lexus reclaiming the throne? I believe Porsche had it last year. Fact check me on that one for sure, but I know they didn't win it last year. Uh, they regained the title this year. And like I said, the GM products really, really doing a good job here for customer service satisfaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have so many more videos coming. Um, new studio, I mean, I have to pimp this studio out. So got to get some automotive things on the wall. Definitely some sound deadening materials, a, a nice rug in here and some things on the wall to kill the noise, but it is just an echo chamber in here. But anyways, guys, thanks so much. Oh, I love your support. You guys mean the world to me. My Patreon supporters, you guys rock. If you guys enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe for more Toyota and Lexus videos. And I'll catch you guys next time. Until then, peace out.